welcome to my studio. In each video, my goal is to help you become your own version of an accomplished artist. Today I want to share with you my kit for drawing and for watercolor. This kit is something that I can take with me if I want to go on a vacation. It can, I can put it in my suitcase and take it on the plane. Or if I want to um, just go for a ride and do some drawing, I can keep it in my car. So I love having a small kit that doesn't take up so much room and I have everything I need. So I want to show you what I have in the kit. To begin with, I just have a piece of gator board. This is just a stiff board and it's used in watercoloring. You can stretch your paper on it and the, the board doesn't uh, bend at all. So I'm using this board and I'm, I'm using it as a flat surface so that I have something hard I can draw on and watercolor on. And what I've done is I love arches paper. So I've just taken a bunch of paper and I've cut it into small pieces, a variety of different sizes, a lot of scrap paper that I have after doing big pictures. And I've just cut it into small pieces. I can grab one of them, put it on the board and, and start watercoloring. So having the um, board and the paper is um, perfect because I can just grab a piece and I don't have it um, hooked together. I, I just like having it separate and I like being able to work with Arches paper. This is cold press, 140 pound paper. You can use whatever you want. Grab a small sketchbook or tone paper, anything like that. Another thing I like is I like having this little inexpensive watercolor postcard paper. Every once in a while when I travel, I like to just open one of these up and do a quick painting on it. And you can use it to send to somebody if you want. But I just, I actually love the size. So I like to carry that with me as well. We all know that drawing is the foundation of all art mediums. So make sure you have some good drawing materials with you. I like to bring mechanical pencils with me. And I usually bring two or three with me and some extra leads. I like to use um, the mechanical pencils because I don't feel like I have to have a pencil sharpener with me and that takes up a lot of room. So I'll take my mechanical pencils with me along with some erasers. I like having a retractable eraser and a regular white pearl eraser. And then I also like having a kneaded eraser. And I think it's important to grab a kneaded eraser that has a little case to it so it doesn't stick to everything. So this eraser I can use and when I'm done I can just put it right back in the in the little bin there. I also sometimes need to draw a straight line and I need to be able to divide something up. Maybe I'm needing a plumb line of some kind. So I like having a ruler with me. This ruler actually just folds in half so it takes less room up. So I like to have that with me as well. And then sometimes I'm drawing and I, I absolutely love to just draw but sometimes you just want to put a, a burst of color in. So I've decided to combine my sketching with some watercolor. So what I've done is I've purchased this little kit. This is an awesome kit. And I keep one brush in the center and these have little pods in them. I'll just show you how you can actually lift them out and you can rearrange them however you want. And then you put your own paints in it. So. I like to use Daniel Smith brand paints, and this is the paint tube that I use. So what I would do is I would squirt some of this in a bin and do all the colors that you want and, and leave it open and let it dry. And then when I am traveling, I have this bin with all these colors in it and I have two mixing areas so I can mix my colors and it gives me a, a lot of room. So this is one of the um, watercolor palettes that I enjoy. If I feel like I don't have enough room for the big palette, I also have a small palette here. I have my name on here because sometimes when you're traveling, if you happen to leave it somewhere, it's nice to have your name on it so you can get it back. Um, this is the same as the big black bin, but it's, there's just a few colors here. Still gives you a little palette area. And in this small palette, something I really like about it is it has this little ring here. So I can actually slide my finger on it and I can hold it like this and then and then paint. So this is an awesome palette as well. I love being able to put my own watercolors in it because I, there's certain colors that I like and brand the brand I like is Daniel Smith. So there's another palette. So you have two different size of palettes and a lot of options there. Another thing is when I travel, I hate it when my brushes are all damaged and bent. So I have found this watercolor brush kit, which is so awesome. It has uh, a little pouch and all of these brushes are, um, they just open up and you have a full-size brush. 
so you don't have to worry about the ends getting bent up or anything in travel. You just put the cap back on and slip it back in. And this one comes with seven different brushes. So these are awesome brushes. I think um, it's a great way to be able to travel and not worry about brushes getting damaged. And then I also have a um, watercolor brush where you put the water in the handle of the brush. So this way you open it up and you fill this with water. And then if you don't have any water with you, you have a way to do some watercolor anyway. So this is a, a handy brush to have as well. When I take a kit with me, I also take one water bottle with me. And uh, sometimes I drink it and share it with my watercolors. But I like to have a little bin to keep my water in. So this is a little collapsible cup. So this opens up and makes into a little cup. So I'll just use my water bottle and fill my cup up. When it gets dirty, I'll dump it and get some more. So that is my kit. It fits all together in a really small area. So let me just show you how I put it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and put my brushes to away here and stick them in the kit. And it's awesome because I, I have this kit ready and I'll, if all of a sudden I think I'm gonna be running um, somewhere and I think maybe I'll have some time to draw or paint, I can just grab it and, and use it if I have the time available. So this is an art bin kit and I like to put everything in this because it's got a handle and it's easy to take. So let me just show you how I fit this together. So we have the watercolor um, hard board and some watercolor paper along with our um, postcard book. Like I said, you can also take a variety of different sketch paper and then um, I put my ruler and my pencils and erasers, my extra lead in there, and then my palette. You can either do one palette or the other. I don't, I don't take both of them with me. You can do one or the other. And then my brushes, all my brushes in there, and then my watercolor cup. When I close it, it all fits in nice and neatly and I can just take it with me and I'm ready to go. As I tell all my students, drawing is the foundation of all art mediums. So if you'd like to level up on your drawing skills, check out my online drawing course, Pro Drawing Secrets. The link is below. Please like, comment below of something you would like to learn and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.